everybody welcome back to the second part of the tutorial in which eventually we're going to learn about how to go from stepped animation to smooth animation. Uh, in order to understand the transition better however I feel that it's important for you to understand how I worked in stepped in the first place and that's why we're having a few preliminary tutorials. So in the first part we discussed some of the advantages of working in stepped mode and we had this we made this little sample scene where he looks sideways and then he gets surprised. Now you notice that we could use some more information on the scene. Uh, for example, he looks sideways but we don't know how much time it takes him to do that. And obviously there's a different timing, there's a different acting choice if he's looking sideways really quickly like hmm or if he's doing it really slowly like hmm like that. It's a different acting point. Also, we don't have any information about this transition and he probably anticipates but we don't exactly, we don't have this information in the scene which means that when I show this scene to the to my director he doesn't really, he knows what I'm going to do but he doesn't know much about how I'm going to animate it. So we want to add an, another layer of information uh, to this scene and we're going to do that by using in-betweens and breakdowns. So we're going to start with him looking sideways. We want to define how much time he's going to take looking around and for that I'm going to call up this little gadget called Twin Machine written by Justin Barrett and there's a number here which you can't see but it says 50 and if I go to any frame between the first one and frame 23 any frame I'm going to frame 18 and I'm pressing the button selecting the entire character character and pressing the button what I'm getting is and in between and in the middle in between right in the middle because it says 50 that means 50 percent and what it means is that I can now define the timing by changing the position on the timeline of this in between. So here is looking way slower, this is a very slow look and this is a very quick look. Different acting as we said. I can also make this into a breakdown and the breakdown is an in between that has been altered a little bit to give some more information about the transition. So. For example, I can change, I can modify this in between a little bit by making him blink and maybe also doing this and so doing something with the mouth. So this is the breakdown now and you can see that I have a little bit more information on the rotation and again I can change the, I can change the timing by selecting the entire character and playing it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we wanted to add some anticipation information between this key and that key and the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the twin machine again uh, but in a bit of a different way we're going to change the number here from 50 to 20 and that means a different in-between ratio so instead of being exactly in the middle between this drawing and that drawing now when I use the number 20 it's going to be much closer to this first drawing than to that drawing so I'm going to any frame here I'm going to go to frame 42 I'm gonna hit the twin machine button and what I get is this in between which is much closer to this drawing than to that drawing now obviously this is not the drawing we want it's gonna have to be a breakdown obviously so just designing this thing a little bit blink maybe the head goes a little bit down like this again I'm flipping like we did last time that's pretty good. So let's now try 
to add some information to the ending of this big movement here. And we can think of two different endings to this uh, gesture. One is where he's slowing in towards this key, and the other is where he do, does a little bit of overshoot if it's a very quick motion. So let's start with the first one. Uh, we select the entire character again, move this key a little bit over there. I'm going to stand exactly between these two drawings, the anticipation and the final pose. And I'm going to change the number to 80, which 80% 80 in Twin Machine, which means much closer to the second drawing. And I'm going to hit the Twin Machine, and what I get is this, this in between. And if we play it, we have a little bit of a slow in in the end. And the reason we get a slow in is we, because we used uh, we used an in between, which is 80% close to the final pose, but timing-wise, it's exactly in the middle, and that's why it's a slow in. If I want to now. Uh, Try and try and do the other thing, the overshoot. I'm gonna go to the same in between. This uh, this one, this 80% in between, and I'm gonna change the number. I'm standing on the same frame. Uh, I'm changing the the number to 25 to 95. Sorry, I'm pressing the twin machine button, and then I get a very very uh, close in between, close to the final drawing. And then what I'm going to do is just switch between them. I'm taking the in-between and putting it after the, the, the final pose that I had before. So now when I play it, I hope you can see this, he's slightly pulling back after doing this very quick ge gesture, which gives me a nice springy sort of motion. So that concludes our tutorial for today. We were talking about how to add another layer of information to the scene still in step mode by using the twin machine for in between and breakdowns. I hope you enjoyed it and next time we're going to talk a little bit about prevention, about avoiding some horrible horrible problems that can come up when you work in step mode. So have fun in the meanwhile and uh, thanks for watching.